met a gypsy. The V8 supercars is interesting to me. Like, yeah. Because Maddie is Alpine Group, which does the social media of like Chaz, and then they've yeah. got like Triple Eight, and they're, they're like very deep in the industry. And I've just never really got like in to it in a sense even as a, as a fan and i mean there's every year i say like i really want to because i love the dudes like there's some guys in there that are just awesome guys and you know i spend time i ride with gears when you know the season's off and that sort of stuff so it's like i've got horses in the race but for whatever reason it just never really grabs my attention long enough to i guess like know this much about it but it's like it's australia's premier series and it's it's me i should want to know more i guess is what i'm trying to say but for whatever reason they're just there's missing something that would suck me in yeah well if, so the one thing that does suck everyone in and everyone knows about is bathurst right mm. so without bathurst the whole for me the whole thing falls apart yeah that's like the linchpin that, almost. that's what keeps it you know the history of peter brock and dick johnson and the teams and and most people s still watch bathurst and know about bathurst but yeah, you know, we've lost our way a bit with how that's how touring car racing in Australia is now. I think it's you know it's become a bit elitist. Yeah, it's it's not on free to air TV. There's, you don't see drivers doing commercials on yeah, you know, that yeah. oil anymore. You do on a bit of socials and that. That's taken over a bit, but it's um it's kind of like lost on the mainstream in a sense nowadays. Copy that. Yeah, it has. It and, has for sure. And so it was when we were talking before about how long the drivers stay in, I wonder if that's almost got something to do with it is that you don't have, I guess, a fresh cycle of guys that need to make something of themselves, not just as a race car driver, but as a personality in, in general, because I think if you look too at... Too scared. Yeah, well, there's, there's probably a, a lot of that. And then also, if you're a top guy in the sport that well this actually just feeds back into that point there but if you're a top guy in the sport and you've made i don't know maybe what would be like a, a up-end figure for like a top driver in australia a million bucks a year yeah so if you're making a million bucks a year plus some sponsor stuff on the side like after 15 years of doing it you're pretty solid you are and you don't really need to to your point put yourself out there that much and you can kind of you know step back a little bit and do a little bit less and like you said not take the commercials not not put yourself out there in that public eye because you kind of just don't have to you know you can almost just rock up be in a semi when you need to be in a semi do the autographs when you need to do the autographs and then you can kind of just go back on your way without all the trouble you know but it's almost like the younger hungry guys that are trying to make something of themselves they maybe provide a little bit more entertainment or want to get their personality out there and, and maybe that's what's missing in a sense. Yeah, you're spot on. And the reason they are, for, to get through, you can't really have anything go wrong, you know. Mm. If I just be vanilla and I sit on the fence, I'm not going to upset a sponsor. I'm not going to upset yeah. someone. And if I'm fast enough, I'll get picked up. But the, the only guy that really pokes his personality out as Chaz, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's the favourite. Like, he's one right? of the favourites. But, but if you're fast and win races, you, oh, I always say you can do whatever you want. If you're yeah. not, yeah. better have the normal haircut and you better look normal. Yeah. If it, you know, if you're fast, you can have blue hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, there's there's not, there's one Chaz that acts the way that there, he does in all, the series. I know a lot of people in that, that grid and they've got all really good personalities, but they're just, you know, they're, they're, they're too afraid to to say something or do something could be commercial suicide for him you know that's like oh, i yeah. might upset the sponsor i might upset the team or i might upset what that sponsor might think and that that's what it is yeah and i guess there's like a bunch of different reasons for that in terms of maybe more like you said becomes a little bit more elitist like the image has to be protected a little bit more social media i mean that's one of the things that blew, blow, well, blows my mind in this building in particular because I see a lot of the stuff that Maddie and the crew do. It's just some of the crazy social media shit that V8 Supercars has to deal with. That and like the, I don't know, just the carry on in comment sections and how like censored everything has to be in people's comment sections. It's a, it actually is a pretty gnarly environment. Yeah, from a, from the government, from the V8 Super, Supercars point of view, how they. 
Well, the, yeah, so they, I know Controlling they, and propaganda and... Well, I don't know, I don't yeah. know, but like, yeah, fill me in. Yeah, it's 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 controlled, what, what they say and what they do, and um, yeah, it, there, there needs to be more mainstream media, more media to actually reporting on stuff so like if you go to a nascar race um there'd be 15 journalists there and the, from yeah. every newspaper everything wanting to know what's what's going on and and if you go to a supercar race is you can't even get a journalist there you know they got to fly them in yeah <laughs> yeah right. and pay for them to be there yeah really it's gotten yeah. like that yeah yeah okay yeah it just seems like and again i feel like i'm a prime candidate for someone that should be a gnarly V8 supercar fan and it there just seems to be something that's kind of missing the mark. Yeah, well, you're, it, rivalry is not there. Yeah, okay. You know, they, drivers are too scared. Like you take, um, Shane, I don't know if you watched that race in, in Northern Territory where Shane dive-bombed Davo and hit him, pushed him out of the way and no. and it was like just nothing, you know. Oh, you hit me. I would have been... Yeah, right, well, that, that guy ain't finishing the next race, you know. Well, he's not going to win the championship. The, the, the <laughs> clip of uh, you and your teammate in, uh, I guess, was it '94? And then you just got, oh, like, yeah, did yeah. you just put it on your Instagram yeah, the other day? Yeah. Like, I don't know that that shit happens these days. Yeah, no, it doesn't. They're all too too scared. But um, yeah, that that's what you miss is rivalry. People calling people out. People are like, okay, mate, you 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 had me off. You're going off. Yeah, you, you're not you're not making the next race. Yeah, and I mean, there's like mm-hmm. arguments to and uh, like for and against that. No, I won't it, do it, mate, because the cars are too expensive. The team owner goes, don't fuck my million dollar car, mate. Yeah, that's <laughs> all right. There, there goes that. But even you look at like Origin now, you know, I mean, how good this last Origin this year was so sick, like I actually saw a punch up in it. I it mean, was good, right? I don't know if that makes me a fucking dickhead. <laughs> the fact that I was like excited. No, you're not that a there dickhead. Was a, it was excited. Like yeah, this is That was a watch. real fucking match, you know? Yeah, it was a real match. And then I watched it too. And I haven't watched a rugby league game in a long time, yeah. but I've watched another five when it's been on the TV since. Because you're like, oh, I might see something, you know? Hey, that's their Bathurst. <laughs> yeah, it is their bathurst yeah and i think bathurst has such a a huge name in australia it's got like that household brand kind of feel to it but in like it is losing a little bit of that maybe i think the the free to air thing is crazy that it's not it's it's only on fox these days uh selected races so i think six out of the 12 races are are free to air yeah some of the key ones yeah bathurst still free to air and always will be but you just you lose that continuity you know yeah to go yeah. to go to pay pay tv and not be on free to air is like the the teams and the and the supercars got rewarded for it with it with a check but the long-term damage to the sport I, I don't think you ever get that back yeah yeah and everyone's switching to streaming now so you've you've sort of been in this void where you know you need you need free to air you need you need streaming what's what's pay tv yeah who's yeah. watching that now yeah yeah well, people are f- canceling their fox subscriptions flat out yeah 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 the the landscape's changing there yeah in a in a massive way um but yeah i guess the fact that bathurst is still free to, i wonder like what you said about you've watched five origin games i wonder <laughs> if there's an uptake in tv ratings for just the supercast championship oh post, for sure post yeah you get you get a flow on yeah but people used to like we haven't raced at Queensland Raceway, which is our local track where you know that that's the heartland of of the sport. You know that's where the people that you know that that drive a Holden Commodore or have a have a or have one in the shed now as a classic car, and and you know they the the truck drivers the 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 blue collar people of Australia. It's their sport, right? Yeah, yeah. Supercars is their sport we, we forgot about those people mm. we're more worried about the people in the corporate box yeah 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 no and and you're right man like i remember being a kid and watching like we we'd watch so much uh supercar or well, v8s in yeah. in that that era and it really was just like the every man you know like the the tradie kind of guy and the like you said that blue collar worker that was the representation of them and i think footy was that as well you're probably either like footy or or V8s, but um, but yeah, it, it I guess it has left the like the culture. Maybe you could say. Well, in a sense. well, if you go back to V8s, right? People still call it V8s. Yeah, oh, I was at the V8s. You talk to a politician in towns when they go, "Oh, the V8s are coming." Yeah. You talk to anyone overseas, Formula One drivers, they call them V8 supercars. Yeah. Our marketing people in Australia decided they're going to call it a supercar. Yeah, right. 
What do you know what the reasoning was there? Oh, they wanted to transition away from V8s and we're going to go V6s and have turbos and all this stuff. Mm. But So they got rid of the V8 moniker. You had so much invested Equity, in that yeah, brand, yeah, in that yeah. V8, and they don't even use it anymore. Like, Are they still a V8? Yeah, they always will be. They, the first thing you would do if you are a marketing manager who had anything to do with that business is put the V8 back in front of it. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.